Hey everybody, Johnny here. I wanted to show you a new feature that's just been added to the Asset Browser for Blender 3.0. Up until now, whenever you've used the Asset Browser to bring in an asset, it's always appended that object to your scene, meaning that if you were to change the original file, it wouldn't change in your new file. However, with this new update, a dropdown has been added to the middle of the Asset Browser. This dropdown lets you choose whether when you drag in assets, they'll be linked or appended. So now if you choose link and drag in an object, you now have the ability to go back and edit the original file and have it update in your new file. I've enabled the edit link library add-on. And so with this bulb selected, I'll click edit library bulb. From here, I could make changes. And as you can see, those changes have now been reflected in my new file. Another great option that this gives you is that if you bring in a collection that has an armature in it, like say this shelving unit, if you just append the object, it's not quite as simple to get at the armature information. But now with a linked library, I can select the asset that I've brought in, go up to object, Relations, make library override. Automatically it sets the armature to be library overridden. So I can hit control tab, go into pose mode, and adjust my model. However, I would still be able to go and edit the original mesh that went along with this object and it would change in this file. So there you have it. It's a simple update but I think it's gonna make a lot of difference for folks when they go to use the Asset Browser. You'll be able to block out your scenes with simpler objects and then update those objects in their source files and have those changes reflected in your scene file. The Asset Browser is really coming along and I hope we'll be seeing it in full force in Blender 3.0. I did an intro video to the Asset Browser. You can check it out here. I hope you've been enjoying the channel. I hope it's inspiring you to make some awesome stuff. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay updated for everything that comes along. But until then, I'll catch you next time.